What's going on, Dingleberries? We're back here with another video. I haven't been uh, haven't been on much lately, and I apologize for the lack of uh, uploads. I know I've been slacking. Uh, just started work again, so it's pretty hectic. Uh, just want to do something special for you guys. I noticed that I was at a thousand views, which really isn't a big deal to a lot of people, but to me, I thought it was pretty cool, considering you know I've only got a few videos up and whatever. I do appreciate all the support and all the subscriptions. Uh, what I wanted to do for thousand views, I get a lot of questions from you guys asking what I use. Uh, in terms of hardware, what kind of laptop I have and stuff like that. So figured I would uh, make a quick video here showing you what I have. So this is my laptop. Uh, it's Alienware M17XR4. Got a 17 inch screen here. Um, the computer itself has, I ordered it with the i7-3820QM uh, processor. It's, uh, it runs at 2.7 gigahertz, and I think it automatically, like the virtual overclocking, goes up to uh, 3.4, I'm pretty sure. 16 gigs of RAM. The hard drive is a 750 gigabyte hard drive, and the graphics card is the AMD Radeon 7970M. Uh, definitely the best graphics card on the market right now if you're not looking for 3D. The Alienware, the um, 7970M does not have uh, 3D capabilities. Uh, just so you guys are aware. Um, so yeah, this is where I do all my gaming. For recording, I use Fraps, uh, which I'm probably going to start looking for something else. Fraps limits your um, frame rate when it's running, and then when it's recording, it lowers it even worse. Um, like you're talking about limiting it to 60 or 50 frames a second, and then running Fraps recording, all of a sudden you're getting 20 or 30. So I usually turn off AA and... Uh, you know that'll help but still you don't want to turn that shit down um, so for making my videos I usually use the Sony Vegas Pro um, if it's something more simple maybe I'll use Windows Movie Maker because you can upload directly to YouTube from it so that's pretty cool um, one good thing about the Alienware if anyone is curious they do have HDMI they all have their four USB 3 ports which is awesome um, the Alienware is unique because it has HDMI in so you can actually uh, um, you can plug devices into it and it'll function as basically a TV so that's pretty cool just showing you guys some of the ports here I know it's hard to see sorry about the video it's uh, I'm doing it from my phone so, so I'll show you guys some of the hardware I have this was uh, basically this is my Alienware Tactex mouse it is a wired mouse um, pretty simple mouse kinda heavy not too bad has the adjustable uh, dots per inch, the button for the scrolling, you can have it single scroll or free scrolling, um, and then yeah, so you get some programmable buttons, nothing crazy, uh, they sent it to me as consolation, they, uh, um, I was having some problems with the laptop, actually that's the second one that I had because the first one kept fucking up, so they, I eventually got them to replace it, they sent me the mouse with some of the troubles I was having, um, as an inconvenience, you know, and then, uh, as compensation and then I had some more troubles uh, and then the lap the new laptop was supposed to be here within two weeks and it took over a month so um, I used my good phone skills called them up and was a huge asshole anyone that's ever talked to uh, Dell customer service knows that you won't get your way unless you're big not prepared to be a big douchebag to them because then otherwise they'll walk all over you so you gotta especially when you know when you're talking to a computer for almost three grand um, they gotta be willing to work around you, not the other way around. So I called bitching again because you know I was supposed to have my laptop and it didn't show up. So they sent me a $150 gift card to the Dell um, online store, which I used to purchase this. This is the Logitech G35. Paid about 130 bucks for it. I wanted a good headset, solid, with uh, the surround sound. So it's got built-in 7.1, um, really, really clear sound, especially going paired up with the creative uh, sound blaster software that comes on the uh, on the laptop so um, works really well the surround sound works amazing um, this is the only surround sound headset they had on the Dell store at the time uh, and reviews all said it was one of the best ones out there um, for me it's just really just a headset but it's got surround sound that was big for me uh, other hardware that I use various stuff so you got a couple external hard drives those are just small 320 gigabyte hard drives on the floor down there, you can't really see it in the video, but I have a uh, a three terabyte hard drive as well. Um, 
and that's USB 3, which is awesome. If anyone's looking to get something, you know, get USB 3.0 ports, I highly recommend it. You're talking, you know, for example, I watch a lot of Family Guy, so for me to copy a whole season of Family Guy previously would take 20 minutes, now it takes maybe a minute. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it, guys. If you guys have any questions, like if I know a lot of people are interested in buying Alienware, but um, it's hard to look online for reviews because they might be biased um, one way or the other. So if you guys have any questions about the actual laptop itself, and you're thinking about getting one, you want some advice, some tips, um, or tips just dealing with Dell's horrible customer service, um, just feel free to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, any questions that you have that I can answer, I will. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys.